Sean Dunn was at Braden River High School today and has that story. Good afternoon, everybody. Gil Burlew has a passion for teaching engineering. You'll have 100 extra points if it's done in CAD, computer-aided drafting and design. He's also in charge of the Technology Student Association at Braden River High School. Think of it as a shop class. Our job as teachers is to open that giant window of opportunity for those kids to see out and see what's in their future. The students study a plethora of subjects including computer design, robotics, music production and hydroponics just to name a few. Success isn't going to be found at the end of the road it's going to be found along the way. And every day that these kids come into our program they learn how to pave that way to their success. The students hard work is already paying off. During a recent statewide technology competition in Orlando, students from Manatee County Schools captured 109 of 222 first, second, and third place trophies. Braden placed first among high schools. One, Braden River High School, two, Southeast High School, three, Lakewood Ranch High School, and then the middle school level, Nolan took first, and L.R. Johnson took third in the state. Senior Abigail Holmes won four first place trophies in the state competition and is already using her stand out in the workforce. Last summer, she turned a summer computer design internship into a paying job. Because I was doing things that they couldn't do. And it's, I guess that's how it gives you a step up, is you're already prepared. The students get plenty of hands-on experience in class by using what they are learning to build actual products. These students are also learning how to give back to the community. Mr. Burlew is planning to hold a spring fling and sell all these awesome products made by the students and half the proceeds will be donated to charity. Reported in Bradenton, Todd Dunn, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Tom, thank you.